Hello, I'm Dragos, and in this video, I would like to show you how you can migrate your WordPress website to a new host. So, in the past, I've written an article and shot a video of uh, Ordops hosting uh, panel that will help you host your WordPress web websites easily. And in this video, I would like to show you how you can migrate a WordPress website from another server to an Ordops enabled server. This uh, procedure can be done uh, also on, on other web panels, not only Ordops. In this video, we'll use a plugin that will help us do this because it's easy and you don't need to, to know a lot of a lot of things i have a site here great baby tips that is hosted on another server it's an old server and i would like to move it in the in the new server that i've created with wordops and uh, in this video we'll perform the steps that needs to be done to to have the website moved so first thing to do is to to log in into the into the admin area of your WordPress. I'm already logged in here. Then what you need to do is to install a plugin. The plugin is called uh, WordPress. Just a second. So the plugin is called WP Vivid Backup Plugin. It's a free one and uh, it can be used to to migrate your site to a new server or to to migrate it to a new domain. In this case, we'll just move everything to a new server. The first thing you need to do is to backup the WordPress website. It will backup the database and the files. Right now, the backup is created. Okay, backup is ready and it's stored locally. Next, you need to download it. In this case, the website is very small, so it is quite fast. Okay, the backup is downloading right now. We need to wait for the backup to, to finish downloading. Okay, so right now, we have the the backup of the website in, in here. Next, after you, you have the backup and you are sure you downloaded everything, you need to, to point the domain to the new server. To do this, you need to go into the, the, the DNS settings. In this case, I'm using Cloudflare to, to to point the the website to the to the server so here i have the old ip and i just need to replace the these ips with the new ip of the of the server so i have the ip here i'm just uh, replacing the ip right now the ip is replaced next we need to wait for about five minutes to to be sure that the, the configuration are, are taken, basically the TTL timer, the auto TTL timer for, uh, for Cloudflare, it's five minutes, so we need to wait this period of time. And afterwards we can add the, the domain to the new, new, new server. So if you check, Right, right now, it's it's already it's already pointing to the new server. If you if you go with with the browser, but we still need to to wait to be sure. So I'll pause the video for five minutes and I'll come back after. Okay. So five minutes have passed since we changed the DNS records. Next, we should uh, 
we should go and uh, add the domain to the word ops. To do this, I you need to run a command. You will find it. You will find it here. Basically, this is the command that will add your. You will create your site with a domain with the WP Redis cache with a let's encrypt certificate. I'll do it in force mode and the, the PHP version. It will be seven that four. So I have already written the command here. So this is the command that I will run to add the site. I will just copy it. Then you need to log in into your WordOps server. And uh, I have already log logged in here. This is the, the server that I have. And I'm using to, to host several websites. And the next, we need, just need to run the command here. I need to add our uh, WordPress website. So it's starting to run and it will go through all the all the steps that that uh, that needs to be done to have the complete installation of WordPress. This will be a new installation. Unfortunately, the the domain uh, the server didn't saw the the latest changes, so we still need to to wait a couple of minutes to to have everything set up. So I will wait until this will be successful and rerun the, the command. Okay, I flush the DNS cache and hopefully the, the changes will be shown right now. So right now I just need to, to add the certificates and to do this, it just needs to you just need to run this and hopefully it will work. So no fucking shit. Okay, so eventually the the server saw the new changes of the DNS and installed successfully the, the certificates, but I needed to wait for another 10 minutes. So right now, as you can see here, we have installed the, the cert we have installed the certificates and the site it, it is getting into the new server. So we can we can see in the in here if WordPress was installed. Okay, let me Let me go into the incognito mode. Okay, so this is a fresh installation. Right now we just need to log in in the U UI. We need to use the user and password created in the installation process. So I have it here. This is the account. And then we take the password. Okay. Next, I will put these two with WW because like this it was the, the original. Okay, I save the changes. I log in again. Next we need to install the, the, the plugin. The UPV vid. OK, 
Okay. We activate it. Then we have loaded the backup that we downloaded. Should be in documents. Here it is. I have loaded it to the to the server. And afterwards we can restore it on this uh, fresh WordPress installation. And after we should be able to have uh, all our articles, photos and everything. Also previously the website wasn't HTTPS. So with this, I have also enabled HTTPS for this website. The problem with, with this is that uh, this is not without downtime. So we will have 20 minutes, let's say with of down, downtime, even more if you if you have bigger backups and uh, it will take more time to, to be uploaded. But for this website, it's not a problem. That that's why I've chosen this this option. And if you have a small website and uh, you can afford of to have a downtime of 20 30 minutes, it will be okay. Next, okay, download the upload. It's it's on the server. Next, we just need to hit the restore, and the plugin it will start uh, to start putting our uh, our WordPress backup in in here. And after we should have the exact website that we we had before. So if you check right now. Let me check the settings here. I'll just move like, like this and see if it's working. Let's see. Okay. Is it really properly? The second. Because it looks like it doesn't like something about the certificate. I'll close this. Let's see. Okay, I'll activate full again. Also, always use HTTPS. Okay, that fixed the problem. Let's see what we have here. So we have all the articles. Like this, it's also HTTPS. Right now we just need to log in into the background and we need to activate. Uh, so right now we are using the old user of the website. There is the database was overwritten. So you can use the what you had before. So right now we just need to go into the plugins and activate some some plugins like Nginx Helper and Redis. These were installed by the WordOps to speed up our website. So if we go into the Redis, we just activate it in the Nginx Helper. We enable the parch. We let activate the Redis here and we just hit save. And right now we have everything set up. For instance, this website was not updated for some time. I will also update the plugins and themes and WordPress installation to have the latest version and to not have problems. I already have a backup, so it shouldn't be a problem. 
in case something happens. I can always use the backup to restore it. Okay, so right now we have the latest versions here. I'll also push the cache. And uh, we have the website migrated into the WordOps panel. So I'm just clicking here and to see if everything looks okay. So as you can see, the website looks looks okay and it's everything moved correctly here. So this is how you can easily migrate your WordPress website with the help of Google Vivid Backup Plugin to an world of installations or other installation. The only difference in other installations is that you need to install WordPress there before so you can use the plugin and, uh, and not do other, other things on website. If you have questions, please let a comment on, on the video. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time.